And Nurcio is saying, telling Thorzain he obviously can be the best player on the ladder. And Thorzain's looked good. I mean, he's looked clinical. He's looked textbook in his dispatching of Craft Cup opponents thus far. Now, uh, Shakira's Plateau is the uh, very large four-player map. And as a result, players don't know for sure where their opponents are located. It just so happens, in this game, they're as far away as possible from each other. The other interesting feature of this map is that the natural expansion area is on high ground, which can make it more easy to defend. One of the issues, though, is that there's this cliff here with high grass, and boy, this is a great place to put tanks. <laughs> That's right. And notice Thor's a his first, his uh, barracks is going in his natural expansion area. Not by his main base. So Thorzane and double barracks opening for Thorzane. Power Marines. And Nurcio is scouting away. That overlord that Nurcio is using to scout will discover that Thorzane is not in the bottom left hand corner. And Nurcio puts down a spawning pool now. Two and a half minutes into game two of the quarterfinals of Craft Cup 29. Barracks, second barracks about to be completed. The first barracks is, oddly enough, producing a marine. A marine, Nurcio has now confirmed that his Terran opponent is not beside him on the left side of Shakira's plateau. The scouting process for Thorzane begins quite late in the in the uh, name of one SCV. But when you build two barracks, you can afford to be late because you've got the marines to back up any mistakes. And look at this marine runs right past. It ran right past this scouting drone. I wonder if the high grass had anything to do with it. No? These aren't even... Look at this. They're not even yeah, in attack mode. they're not even mode. seeing it. That's oh. right. Well, I think he sees it. They're not in attack mode. He's going straight into the Zerg base. Look at this. Balls to the wall here from uh, Thorzane. Balls to the wall. You know, I think you know what I think they should do for Thorzane when you have to uh, when you oh, and he's going to cancel the bunker. I think when a, a player like Thorzane has to uh, has to sell his bunker, they, he should give him two hundred minerals, not a hundred. <laughs> what do you think, eh? I don't know, <laughs> man. That's pretty imba. <laughs> That'd be the fair thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> I Just don't know. for Thorzane, though. You know, I don't know if this game's going to last another three minutes. Oh, maybe it oh, will. Oh, there's a spine Spinecrawler, crawler, the savior. It, it made it, and congratulations uh, to Nurcio. This game will last longer than six minutes. Hooray! And Nurcio has spotted the drone. And Nurcio, or sorry, Nurcio yeah, spotted, spotted the, the expansion. Oh, no, yeah, but also Nurcio spotted the expansion that Thorzane's uh, creating here. Uh, the thing is, with these three barracks virtually walling everything off, he can scout all he wants. I don't know what he's going to do about it. Here we come. Here come four zerglings through the middle of Shakira's plateau, and now they're running in every direction, and they're going to take over each of the Zamaga watchtowers. Now, if we take a look, Nurcio has stabilized his base. The one spine crawler did the job. Uh, Zergling speed upgrade is not being researched by Nurcio, uh, but he's got 200 gas in the bank. I'm not sure what he's going to do with it. And Thorzane, on the other hand, uh, is... Full on wall. Yeah, and a tech lab with Stimpak research beginning. And six, six Marines pressing forward through the middle of Shakura's Plateau and into the darkness. And they're obviously going after the, the, the Zalaga Watchtowers. Each of these Zerglings will die. Two Zerglings guarding the lower Watchtower are in jeopardy. A nice scouting overlord here. It sees almost nothing, though. He could move it forward, though, if he wanted to. At this point, we are seven minutes into the game. The wall keeps going up and down. Both players are scouting in various directions all over the map. And it looks like Nurcio's gas was spent on a lair. And what else? And on Zerg speed upgrade. So he did find a use for those 200 
the VESP and gas that he had in the bank. Now, at this point, Thorzane's got 10 Marines and a Marauder, and that's a nasty, uh, dangerous force of infantry. Stim pack will be completed in about 20 seconds. If Thor and there's a second, there's a fourth barracks with a second tech lab, and combat shield is halfway completed. Thorazane looks ruthless. Yes, he does. Use of infantry. McDuff, what would you do? Uh, you know what I would do if I was Zerg? I would build Banelings. I would complain about <laughs> lag. That's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you're BM, Jim. Um, we've also, you know, here comes the Baneling nest on the way out, and roaches would be very good as well. So I don't know. It's a uh, Nurture is a way better Zerg player than I am. I'll tell you that much. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to be able to do here. Dude, I think it's over. Look at this. Uh, what's going to stop this? Yeah. <laughs> That's true with all those Marines and everything. Yeah. Impact combat shield's going to be up soon. He's got one spine crawler. The Baneling nest is still not complete. You know. Look at this. Ouch. This is going to be brutal. Oh. I don't think Sarah Kerrigan could stop Thorzane. I don't think so either, man. This is pretty tough. Looks like I could be losing a uh, hundred uh, craft cup minerals oh, right here. Pack. That's it, folks. Oh. Nurtio saying, "How did you become so good?" And Thorzane saying, "You're pathetic." Yeah, that's true. That is true, and that's unfortunate. Uh, you know, I I know uh, Nurtio personally on a certain level, and he's not a bad guy. He just acts like an idiot when he loses. I, you know, all it would really take is a simple. You know, simple, decent manners when he loses, and he'd be okay, but I don't know why he acts like this. Yeah, it happens. In any event, I mean, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Burrow is being researched, and oh, we do Burrow. have Bane Leagues on the way. The saving Burrow. grace, Burrow! <laughs> Burrow's a good counter for siege tanks. <laughs> At least I got self respect. Ouch. What the hell is this? <laughs> Lots of oh. BM, but there's some animosity between these two players for sure. Let's see if Nurchio uses that to fuel his uh, war engine. Right. <laughs> I, I We have another uh, staff member, Mini Gris, in a different series. Maybe we can get into the game three of that series. Um, it's nice that Nurchio is moving forward with four. Four banelings that have no speed upgrade. Thorzane has got 52 worker units. Tanks. Medivac dropships, Vikings. You know, if we look carefully, we might find a medic and a Valkyrie in here somewhere, too. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even a Wraith. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thorzain moving out some Marines. <laughs> and now he's I going in. This is going to be harsh. Harsh like my hookah's hitting. Yeah, and you know, stick a fork in Nurchio. He is done. More than likely, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what this is about. I don't know. What's he Is he putting on a show here for us? <laughs> oh, you know what? This might be a fake. Oh, I thought he might be doing a fake drop. with You know what I mean? A drop yeah. ship is not in it to fake him out? I have no idea. Well, it caused those links to go back into the main base, so it looks like that was a fake drop, and it did work. It did successfully make Nurchio think there was a drop on the way. There are four Mutalists coming out right now for Nurchio, but besides that, look at this giant... F and force right here. <laughs> As we've got a medvac filled with eight marines going across the field. It's gonna try to drop back here at the behind the mineral line. These Zerglings are there to take care of it. But it's gonna be uh it's gonna be hard when they when uh you know there's a stim going down and here comes some drones and some lag. Like I said, man, I told you ten minutes ago, if I were Zerg, the first thing I do <laughs> is complain about lag. <laughs> Because uh, it's all, you know. Anyway, in any event, let's uh, carry this forward. Uh, these destructible rocks will uh, are about half. Oh, well, look at this! <laughs> oh no! Great move by Thorzen, man. He is just—he's brought his A game to this tournament, and he's ready for blood. Uh oh! Look at this! And he look at he—he oh, he 
destroying the Baneling bombs. More scans going down. More Baneling bombs being taken out. Sorry, those green landmines don't work. I wish your friends didn't help you. Oh, okay. And the tanks sieged up way in the back. It looks like he may Doesn't be able to... Doesn't even need them. Yep. Doesn't even need them. That's em. what I was about to say. Well, here we go. This, You know what? Nurchio may have built a force which can do a little bit of damage here. It's going to be tough for him to move in with just the Marines. He will have to bring the tank forward. And I think what you're... Here we go. Yeah. And these Banelings are in trouble. He hasn't... You know what? Thor's ain't... Oh. <laughs> and there's some BM going between these two players. This is... Oh, man. What a matchup here as uh, Thorzane pretty much dominated Nurchio. Yep. Absolutely. And I mean, let's face it, Thorzane smacked around the previous opponent in the previous round. So. Hmm. Let's be fair here. Nurchio is a very good player. Just Absolutely. It's unfortunate to see this uh, be his demise. For all those who fight in Hershio, we may see what uh, can defeat him very well. <laughs> and Nurchio, we've seen Nurchio unfortunately do this before, where yes. he extends the game as long as possible. Don't have to be an ass about it. Says, so. oh, and look, here come the banelings and all the drones and all the forces here. Nurchio trying to take out as much as he can. <laughs> it's not even going to make any difference here, though. Yeah, Jim, he is dead. And GG, he can't believe he said it, but Nurchio did say it. Nurchio's out of here. Thor Zane is moving forward. As we see the Terran take a victory here. <laughs> Heard you boys needed some help. We came as fast as we could. Ain't no time to be lying down on the job, General. Right on. So let's try to get into another match here as soon as we can. Let's go and take a look at where we are at in the in the grid rounds right now. So it looks like uh let's see who won out of SYZ. SYZ did take the win. And I'm receiving all kinds of additional editorial messages from uh, Nurchio. I see. I don't know if you're getting them. No, I am. I'm not. Okay. Huh. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some music while we wait to get into the next match. Some sapient. And we're seeing all kinds of predictions that uh, Thor Zane is going to easily roll through the rest of this event.